Okay guys, hi, it's Jenny. I decided that last time I tried a little something different where I went through the, um, my supplies beforehand live and that gave me more time to talk about it. Plus I'm going to try and do this um, sort of on the clock video. I didn't make it for April. Um, so I thought maybe I'll try to double up in May. We'll see how that goes. So it is um, National Scrapbook Day right now. So happy uh, NSD to those of you celebrating even though this will probably be posted much later. Um, I'm going to use a um, sketch that I saw on Page Maps, um, which hopefully that will make this go a little bit faster since I do have the sketch and because I had one photo and some other things like that. So that's the sketch there. Um, it's a May 2013 sketch. So I picked out, I've been going through a bunch of things in my craft room to try to clean up and so I found um, lots of old chipboard and things that I... Um, you know, forgot I had trying to give them to my daughter or something. These were little die cut shapes that I had obviously used all the hearts out of, but I kept the negatives and I thought about misting them or using them as a template or stringing them up or something. So I took those out and I found this massive stash of chipboard shapes, just raw chipboard, and I had misted this with the um, Heidi Swap Color Shine. It's sort of a like a negative um, slide, you know. Um, what do you call it, slide case. So I thought that was neat. And um, the color shine looked really good on it. It wasn't too over the top goldish, but I got a lot of gold going on. Some little gold binder clips from Making Memories. Um, some various chipboard from the Dear Lizzie Fifth and Frolic. And from, um, this is the Lucky Charm, I believe. And some other, um, this is a little die cut from Crate Paper some new trendsetter pieces. I thought I might use one of these, but I've been using those a lot, so that may be overkill. I've got some Ellie Studio tags from the You and Me collection and some from the Serendipity collection I might use to put a title on. And I've got some of these Heidi Swap letter stickers as well as these thickers, which I think I'm probably going to use. I'm going to try and stay away a little bit more from the teal and kind of go more for this chartreuse green. Um, we'll see how that goes. I thought I might use this Happiness Is sticker from my mind's eye. Uh, I've got these um, Mistable Hearts from um, Pete Paisley. A little stamp from Dear Lizzie. I, I don't think I'll use anything but maybe that little heart stamp. I'm not sure yet. Um, and I thought I might use that little people holding hands or some of those little hearts. Or maybe the little, I'm not sure, maybe the little house with the heart. Um, I've got watercolors just in case I decide to use those. This is the um, Fifth and Frolic little book, which I just ripped the pages out of because I like the, um, the torn edges from it. And I really don't ever have a book to use anything with. And I love to tear out the pages and use the little pocket that's already in them. That might be a good one, actually, but I really like the gold. And then I've got some um, washi from Love My Tapes and maybe Freckled Fawn. Some ribbon from American Crafts. Some color shine if I decided to do anything else along that gold line. And then I have some um, embossing powder. I thought of embossing one of those, these little stamps. Maybe that little man and woman in, like, this holographic one, just the shiny one or white and then trying to watercolor over it sort of a resist way that may not work out with the whole time thing and then I've got a bunch of pieces that I die cut out of watercolor paper that I did all at once in a big um, and this one was one a title that said a beautiful world so I thought about using that this little heart die cut and this flower um, I thought it was neat so we'll see if we use any of those this is um, from the um, Fifth and Frolic line, and I thought I might cut out one of those or use one of the background pieces as part of an underlayment or something. That's nice, too. This, I think, is going to be my base, and then I may um, use the frame, use this as the frame and have a white piece inside like this sketch. And then I may use a piece of um, this, but like I said, I was going to try and go for more of that chartreuse green. And some white cardstock. 
And this is the photo of my husband and I from Easter, um, actually last year. And um, I had a new fun filter for Photoshop that I put it through and it made the kind of grass and the, you know, in the background and everything much more of that kind of chartreuse color. So that's why I was thinking about that. So I'm going to tidy up and get ready to go and then I will, um, at first I wanted to show this, I had these uh, uh, pomegranate seeds that now come in this fun little tin, I mean um, little plastic thing. And it's got this, because pomegranate seeds stain so much your fingers, it's got this fun little spoon that's attached to the top of the lid for you to be able to, to get it out with. And I washed it really good and I was thinking about putting embossing powder in that. I thought that would be the per most perfect way to um, scoop it out and then be able to put it right back in. It seals really good and that um, snaps into place and I may have to cover it with washi or something so it doesn't say that. But I, um, I just thought that was a neat little tip. So I'm going to clean up, get ready to go, and I will um, set the timer on my clock on my phone and um, we'll see what happens. I'm shooting for 30 minutes again, but um, it may go more like 45. We will see. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I have got everything set out and ready to go, I think, in the order um, I may do it. And I'm going to hit start and we'll see what happens. i yeah. 
Okay, so obviously this <laughs> didn't turn out to be as easy as I had originally intended. Um, I don't think that's ever the case, but I um, ended up not using any of the die cut title that I um, had watercolored. I, I love the way it turned out. I'll probably use it somewhere else, but it didn't work out here. Um, I did use a lot of those hearts and I had um, stamped this little tag with various stamps and tried different misting and colorings and everything else on top of it and I could not um, get happy with it. There was either too much static or I did it wrong or I didn't like the color. It was too dark and I was trying to stay more subtle and anyway uh, that didn't work out so um, that's okay. I, I mean I, I think overall um, the rest of it turned out pretty good. I did use a lot more of that turquoise but I think it works obviously it works well with that chartreuse color because it's all in the same sort of set and um, I had tried to miss those die cut hearts from a, a really old um, set of sort of die cut numbers and, and letters and symbols in the very beginning with the color shine which slid right off of it and clearly is not meant for things with the shiny surface so that might be something I could use the acrylic paint or something else but it's not a going to be a mistable surface as you can see there on the right um, but they might work well for masking. I love the shape of the heart. It's kind of a nice little rustic sh shape and we'll see. I, I tried to make that work but it, the color just it was um, it was off. It didn't look right and so anyway um, I couldn't get happy with that but I like the way that the um, raw chipboard turned out after being missed and um, with the the title and so I had planned to hang that tag off of those that twine but instead just stuck that little heart down there so um, I was very indecisive with this too and got interrupted a couple times <laughs> and I don't know if I showed the clock at the end before I started the last sort of clip but the last time I had stopped it I had to stop to go find um, something for uh, one of my kids or something that happened and I stopped it at about 45 minutes into it and I mean I knew then obviously I wasn't going to make my 30 minute mark and not even 45. I thought I might get under an hour but I thought I stopped it and then when I came back and I looked at it to start it again I realized that I had never actually stopped it and at that point it was like an hour and 20 minutes so I just let it keep running. You'll see at the end it's about two, it's just a little over two hours. So you could probably deduct about maybe 25 minutes off of that. It still ended up being a whole lot longer layout. So I really shouldn't call this an on the clock. It would be a, you know, on the, you know, I don't know, juggle, trying to juggle a, a bunch of different things. And um, that's just the way life is sometimes. So. Um, we'll, we'll see. May, may try next time. So I stamp a couple of those little bitty hearts around with some um, yellow butter bar ink and uh, wrote my journaling on that little tag with the date and you will be able to see the, see the um, close-ups in a minute and the final shot. Thanks for watching. I um, appreciate all the support and comments. Check out my blog if you would like, and I will be back with hopefully a much more timely on-the-clock video. Take care. Bye-bye.